Now, your eyewitness weather forecast. Good Saturday morning, everyone. I'm going to take you outside in Scranton right now. I don't want this picture to fool you. There is still some sun, but those clouds that are working their way in. Keep an eye to the sky. We actually have a snow squall moving through the northern tier right now. And here it is near Binghamton, Elmira, New York. It has passed over the border. It is affecting Tioga County, Bradford, as well as Susquehanna Valley, uh, excuse me, Susquehanna County right now. With this, if you're on inter, uh, Interstate 81 or any of the major highways up in the northern tier, Heavy snowfall rates, that's what those darker shades of blue indicate, as well as limited visibility, some gusty winds. So if you're out on the roadways, my recommendation is pull over until this passes through. It will only take 20, maybe 30 minutes, and it's uh, rather safe than sorry as the snow call uh, passes through the area. Temperatures right now, on the other hand, we are in those 20s for most areas. Some areas still in the teens and haven't been breaking the teens over the past several hours. 18 in Mount Pocono, 19 down in Hazleton. Wind speeds right now as that squall makes its way through. Notice how these winds are picking up a little bit. 10 to 15, even some pockets of 20 mile an hour wind gusts right now. So we have to factor that in for the wind chill. So temperatures are feeling 10 to 15 degrees colder. It's feeling like the teens outside. Some areas even feeling like the single digits as well as uh, parts of the more higher elevations right now like Mount Pocono and down in the Valley and State College. If you want some plans today after the passage of that snow squall, head to Camelback Mountain. They have 39 trails open today, 28 as your high. Tomorrow we'll have more sunshine than clouds still in uh, those low 40s. Monday, earlier the better, we'll be in those low 50s, but some rain is on the way. And here's what it's going to look like as that next system approaches late Sunday into early Monday. Increased cloud cover, but these winds, they're coming out of the south, so that's going to keep us mild over the next few days, but that rain starts here in the early evening hours on Monday. Some of those heavier shades of green indicating some heavier snowfall rates for your Monday. Something to keep in mind as you're headed home from work or to pick up the kids from school. Some cloud cover overnight and then Tuesday we really don't get much of a break by the late morning, early afternoon hours. Some more rain is on the way. So keep the umbrella handy this work week because you will need it. Some of those taper off and we'd be left with some spotty to isolated rain showers for the rest of your Tuesday and Wednesday. 30 degrees is the high today. Breezy and colder. Passing snow flurry anytime now. If you're in the northern tier, southern tier, give it another hour or so. Winds are out of the northwest at 10 to 15 tonight. Some of those clouds will start to clear out of here and will cool off to the low 20s. Those winds still a little bit breezy at 5 to 10 miles an hour out of the northwest. For your Sunday, we're ending off the weekend on a good note. At least 42 is your high. It will be warmer, about 12 degrees warmer, with plenty of sunshine throughout the day. Here's your eyewitness weather seven-day forecast for your Monday night. Temperatures will cool off into the upper 30s, but as I mentioned, keep the rain, uh, the rain jacket nearby. You kind of take what you can get this week. We have the mid-50s, which is mild for this time of year, but we will have to deal with some rain. We have that wet pattern through the middle of the work week. Some snow showers for Thursday. Temperatures now drop back into the mid-40s and the low 30s overnight. And by Friday, some of that sunshine returns, but we'll still have a mostly cloudy sky. Temperatures will be in the low 40s. You can download the Eyewitness Weather app to get interactive radar in the palm of your hands to help you track out the snow squall that's moving through, or you can visit pahomepage.com for more.